Okay, this is a, uh, it's a very effective way of improving the internal rotation of your shoulder. Um, good for people with shoulder complaints. Uh, quite good for frozen shoulder, but just be gentle. Yeah, always be gentle with the shoulder because the shoulder is a funny beast to kick back at you. I'm getting carried away, getting ahead of myself. What I'm going to do, I'm going to improve my internal rotation. Yeah, so what I'm using is just the corner of the room. And to go into the corner of the room, I'm just going to relax my body so I can just lean back into the wall. Now I'm going to bring, so I'm doing this arm, I'm going to bring this arm up so um, the top of my arm, elbow, shoulder, yeah, they're all nice and level. And you see I've got my hand out to the front. And I can almost use the corner of the wall just to sort of lock in that position. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my hand down yeah, to see how far I can go. And really, all you really want in this position is about 45 degrees, so that's, you know, I'm fine. But for purposes of this video, if you're coming down, you're like, oh, see, that's where it's getting me, right? So as you bring it down and you start to feel, just as you, just as you start to feel it stop, okay? So you're right on the cusp of it becoming uncomfortable or stretchy. Now just gently rest this hand on top of the other and push this hand upwards. Not hard. 30-40% effort. Push into this hand for 10 to 12 seconds. After 10 to 12 seconds, stop, relax, and you'll find you can go a little bit further. Find a new point just to cusp and then back off and then wait there for 10 to 12 seconds. After that 10 to 12 seconds, push up again. Pushing up, that's 11, 12, stop, relax and encourage it down further. And you'll find you can, will be able to go a bit further. If you have a, if you have frozen shoulder, this is going to be little. Yeah, you're not going to be big jumps. It'll be little improvements. But little and often is good. So you come down, find a new cusp of where you're feeling it, back off, back off, and then wait 10 to 12 seconds. So that's twice now. Push up, relax, come down, relax. Push up, relax, come down, relax. 10 to 12, yeah? On the last one, I'm going to push up 10 to 12 seconds. And I'm going to stop, relax, and I'm going to encourage it down. Find the new point where it's just starting to creep in, ease off. And I'm going to wait there for 24 seconds at the end. After 24 seconds, I'm going to come out. And then that will be that done for the day. OK, just one thing. OK, if you're bringing it down, so it's your first one, you're coming down. That's where you just feel it, you back off and then you push up and it elicits pain straight away. Like, oh, that's sore. Then stop. Yeah, don't push up if it hurts. Instead, put your hand underneath and push down onto your hand. And that should be better. So it's hurts pushing up, push down instead. Same thing, 10 to 12 seconds, stop, come down, find a new point, back off and wait for 10 to 12. And then do the next two after that. Okay.